Hi, Dr. Design students. I want to show you a couple of configuration settings that you need to apply in Word 2007. I have a shortcut on my quick reference bar, but you probably don't have that. So you go up to the Office button and go all the way down to the bottom, which may be off the screen in this capture, uh, where it says Word Options. In the Word Options that pops up, uh, you're looking for the proofing. Uh, section over here. You will scroll down to the when correcting spelling and grammar in Word. Um, it's actually a pretty good idea to go ahead and have mark grammar errors as you type, check grammar with spelling, uh, all the options. Uh, I turn some of them off because I don't really need them. Uh, but ones that I like to keep on are hidden. You have to go down another layer in the settings. So for the uh, writing style option, you may want to turn on the grammar and style because that will give you more suggestions when you're checking your document. But what's particularly important is when you click this settings button, you get all kinds of uh, customization options. and when you've got the full set of grammar and style rules in effect for your grammar and style checking, you're going to get a lot of flagged uh, notices that you're not interested in. Once you realize what category these are in, you can come in here and unclick the category so that those messages no longer appear. Um, but up here where it says require, at the very top of the grammar settings, you have the option here, comma required before last list item. Uh, that is always a style concern in documents you submit to me. This is called the serial, S-E-R-I-A-L, i.e. as in a series, or sometimes called the Oxford comma. You want that comma for maximum clarity. So uh, you always want the comma before the last list item. Um, punctuation required with quotes, you want them to be inside. The English convention is quite simple. It's not logical. It's that the comma and the period always, with rare exceptions, go inside the quotation marks, the closing quotation mark. All right, so you can have Word correct that automatically. If you're in the habit of uh, sometimes putting it inside, sometimes outside, you can make it a no-brainer. Set it to always be inside. If you don't believe me about this rule, look it up. The British go by other rules. Uh, and countries, English-speaking countries, uh, that were once part of the British Empire. But in the United States, the standard, since the time of Benjamin Franklin at least, has been to put the punctuation, commas, and periods always inside quotation marks. Uh, colons, semicolons, question marks, uh, you have to apply some analysis for those. But for commas and periods, you don't need to think about it. Um, space is required within, between sentences. That is, after a period, after a colon, etc. Uh, you only want one space, so be sure and set that as just one space. All right, so if you configure your grammar settings that way, uh, you'll have the maximum benefit from the style and grammar checker in Word.